Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. And for this layout I'm using the Simple Stories Judge Speechy collection and the paper that I want to use is the High Tides as my background. Now when I went through the ephemera there was a lovely snorkel and mask die cut and I decided I was going to use that as the inspiration for my layout. So I decided I was going to hand draw a scuba mask and snorkel and I've printed two photographs that I'm going to put within the mask. They're both um, about, uh, I think about four by four square. I'm going to overlap the two of them of my son and his wife um, scuba diving. I'm also going to do a snorkel as well so I'm just sketching that out. Obviously if you've got a die cutting machine you could do this, uh, an uh, electronic one, but actually it wasn't difficult to do this by hand. So this is just a bit of copy paper that I'm using at the moment because I'm going to make these into templates to create the layout. So literally sketching them and then just cutting them out and then refining them. Um, it's not that difficult. Um, if you haven't got too much confidence doing that sort of thing, as I say, I always use copy paper first until I'm happy with the shape. And then I'm using that paper template now and I'm put it on the back of some orange basil cardstock. And I'm just drawing around it um, with my pencil first. Uh, obviously, I'm turning things around. It's not so bad with the mask because it's pretty symmetrical, um, but uh, it will be different with the snorkel. So I've cut that off camera and then I'm actually going to draw around that onto some craft foam because I actually want to turn this um, scuba mask into a um, shaker pocket. Well, that's the thoughts. So I've got my card version and my foam version, and now I've brought in some acetate. So I've cut it roughly to the size, and now I'm gonna add some red line tape to the back of the cardstock mask, and then I'm going to attach that onto the um, acetate to make the front of this shaker pocket. So I've finished the acetate off camera. I'm now going to join my two photographs together with just a little bit of paper and sellotape on the back. I'm happy how they look. They will need to be trimmed down to actually fit um, within the um, window. So I'm just adding some wet glue to the foam and I'm gonna stick that to the back of the cardstock with the acetate. So that's giving me some depth to be able to add something to the shaker pocket. I tried drawing around the mask with a pencil, but it doesn't mark the photographs. So then I come back in with a biro and do it again. And that works much better on the glossy paper. So that means that I can trim the joined photographs down to be pretty much the same um, shape as the masks. So I'm just getting that right because it will annoy me if it's not the right size and shape when I come to stick the whole thing together a bit later on. And I come back in with more red line tape. Um, I just find that this tape is really the best um, for me, really, really sticky. And now I'm adding it all the way around the mask again, ready for me to actually attach that now to the photographs themselves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel the backing off all the tape, apart from a bit the bigger piece at the top. And I'm actually gonna just have the tail of that sticking out so that I can actually um, use that to, um, put things in the pocket and then seal it shut. So I've just got that one bit at the top that's sticking out. You can't really see it very well to start with and I have to poke my finger in it um, to get it. And I've also, the photo's not quite as big as the foam so there's a bit of double-sided tape showing so I've just covered that up with a bit of sellotape. In the tray on the left, I'd already pre-sorted some um, sequins that are blues and whites and teals and I'm just feeding them in the top of the shaker pocket before I close it. I'm just seeing if there's enough or whether I'm actually gonna add all of the ones in that I've actually selected. So I would really recommend you check out this um, Just Beach, Beachy range at um, Hey Little Magpie by Simple Stories. So um, it's really fun and I think that's where this was inspired by really. So that's the shaker pocket, good old shape there, that's perfect. It's gonna sit central on that paper so I'm bringing in some other bits and pieces that I really want to use and I've still got to make the snorkel part of the um, snorkel and mask so I've been through the die cuts there's some really nice cute fishes all with smiley faces so I've got those as well I've got some orange card left over 
from making the mask and I'm going to just draw the snorkel and uh, I'm just bearing in mind that I want the curve to go inwards on the layout so I've turned my um, template around. So I start to lay out the way I want things to look with the snorkel and the mask there and uh, I find the word on the uh, foam sticker sheet that says paradise and I'm thinking of adding some tags onto the snorkel as well so I'm just laying things out where I would really like them to go. I'm looking on the uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well because there are some more fish um, on there and I think there's uh, an octopus and a turtle as well so that's really cute and I definitely want to think about using those. Sometimes I think it's harder when you're using less but uh, of where you want to position things. So I've come in with one of the new Halo or Magpie uh, metal uh, dies. Uh, it's the tags and tabs and I've cut a tag to go on the snorkel. Uh, um, I'm keeping the green one there as well and I've just put some of the paper through a ribbler. Do you remember those? I've, I've had that in my stash for I can't tell you how long and I'm just adding some um, interest to the snorkel itself. So I'm making the mouthpiece and a bit of interest there uh, in this stripy paper from the 6x8 just beachy pad. So um, I'm liking the way that that's coming together but I actually have a moment of madness and I realize that I've got paradise twice. Can you see? Now you can see it, you can't unsee it can you? So I've got paradise as the title and paradise on the green tag. But I really like the tag. Um, and I looked at some of the other tags, so I had a moment, I tidied up, I looked at the words and it's, uh, I've tr I found that tropical was exactly the same. So I put, so it's now tropical paradise, if that makes sense, or tropical could be the title just on its own, but it, just for me, I could not unsee it. So using a, another of the 6x8 papers and the bumpy border dies, metal dies from Halo on Magpie, I've added some decoration to the um, die cut tag that I made earlier. I've just come in with some wax thread as well and I'm just tying it to the snorkel. You could fake that but because it was only stuck down with a little bit of um, double sided tape I managed to get the wax thread to go all the way around it and I've just tied it um, in a little bit of a bow. Uh, I just wanted to add um, names and dates to that tag there so uh, it's not all the information that I would want to do so I can add some journaling on the back of this um, when I've finished. But I've also found a geo tag in this collection which I think would look really nice up on the mask by the title on the left. So I've come in now with some water droplets, little acrylic circles that were from my own stash and I'm just going to add, sprinkle those around really just to add another dimension to all the layers that I've already got here. I know this it looks quite simple, it did take me a little while to make the, the mask particularly uh, but I think it goes really well with the uh, fun elements that are in this um, Simple Stories range. So um, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up for the videos and um, subscribe to our channel. Um, do check out this range and all, all the new stock in the Hey Little Magpie store. These metal dies are flying off the shelves and no wonder they're absolutely fabulous. So here's the full image of the finished layout and some close-ups too for you to have a little bit more of a look. Any questions, just leave it in the comments below and we'll come back and do our best to answer those. So thanks very much for watching and we hope to see you here again very soon. Bye for now.